Hey guys, welcome back. On this episode of Pro Noob RC, we got our Axial SCX6 from Horizon Hobby up on the bench, and we're gonna do a few mods to it. So the first mod we're starting with is gonna be very necessary. We are gonna shim the diffs to get rid of the slop. Um, we haven't had any issues with ours. Jesse and I drive these things, and most of our trucks fairly reserved. Uh, but when we do want to be, you know, hammer down and get a giver on it, we don't want them to break. So we're going to shim out the diffs with some Arma shims, and we'll show you how to do that, and we'll throw some part numbers in. So stay tuned. We're going to rip the front axle and the rear axle out of this truck, and then we'll start putting some shims in the diff, and we're going to swap out the 2 million weight uh, grease they have in the axles for some Cow RC Utter Butter. Okay, guys, once you get the tires off, uh, you got to take off your fancy little hubs, your two 10 millimeter uh, wheel nuts. Uh, keep the tires on the ground when you're doing that. The best thing is give your wrench on there and kind of give it a few smacks if you don't have an impact set up for it. Um, we don't like to use impact on RC, so we just give it a couple slaps. We just used our Horizon Hobby Team Lossy wheel wrench from one of our Nitro Race buggies when we used to be cool. Um, now, if you have a cordless drill with a 2.5 you can actually get to all the screws in the back of the diff without taking out the front diff so all we need to do is pull out this one big long screw so we can free up these links pull out no just leave that one uh, then we can pull off our uh, knuckles and then slide the axles out pull that out uh, pull off the uh, pumpkin cover there and get rolling so I'm gonna flip this big guy over and we'll start pulling that out you don't want to just turn your steering slowly all the way over. Some nice big beefy boy axles. Those are what five millimeter? Yeah, five millimeter axle shafts. Those are decent. Really nice stuff. Apparently, guys have been having trouble with the the pins coming out on this, and they've been. Oh, look at mine. Looks like it's coming out actually. Yeah, looks like the one pin's coming out of the ball. So what one mod is actually to put a little weld on there. So we're gonna look into that a little bit. Better just pick up some spares and keep them in our toolbox. Always keep a couple spares until they get that work done. Nope, that seems fine. So look at how beefy these parts are, you guys. Love this truck. Love it. Okay, that's open. Now let's crack this pumpkin off. And then we can start to deal with that uh, 2 million weight silicone oil that they put in there. Or 20 million weight or something like that. I have some from uh, Ofna for the monster truck diff, remember? Oh no! The tracks is 20 million? I think it's tracks is 20 million. Okay, so before you pull that off, you're gonna to want to get a rag and put that in there so you're not oozing the goose inside your. Uh... Oozing the goose! Oozing the goose! Okay, I went and got my favorite color purple gloves on because in the state of California, this stuff is known to cause cancer, so. Just like everything else, even water and air, apple juice. Yeah, it's definitely 20 million or so weight, I guess. I'm just gonna make these weird sounds like that's about that. Okay, so you guys see that little bit of movement there back and forth? It's very tiny, but if we could bring that in tighter to the gear, we're obviously gonna be sitting a lot better on the gear, a lot happier. So, um, what we need to do now is to actually just pull this differential out and put a couple shims in behind the bearing, and then we're gonna clean out the rest of the goo. I'm gonna clean that out, pull it out, and then I'll be right back with which shims we're putting in. Okay guys, the shims we're using on this differential are the AR709052 from Arma. They are 12 by 15.5 by 0.2 millimeter. So these are 0.2 millimeters each. Um, we are gonna start with one, throw it in there and see how it feels. 
We might need two, but we'll start with one. These guys are a little bit hard to track down, but Eliminator RC in Winnipeg, Manitoba has tons of stock on them, so we were able to scoop them up there pretty quickly. So, so you want to take off the bearing on the back side because we want to push this gear over towards the other gear so we get a tighter mesh or tighter gear lash. Is that right? Lash? Oh. We'll start with one. Now I went and took all that goopy crap out of there. Get that seal all the way in there, roll everything. And then now we can check for play. And I can still see we do have a little bit. So we're gonna pull that out again and we're gonna add the second one. So that is gonna give us a total of a 0.4 of a millimeter. So about the size of a nozzle of a 3D printer. <laughs> right, that size of a nozzle, 0.4. Okay, so two shims in there. That kind of seems to be the going number from a lot of um, other people on the pages on the Axial SCX6 page and all that stuff. Uh, that kind of seems to be the, the happy number. Okay, so we got two of them sitting in there. I'm going to toss the diff cover on. Make sure everything's seated. And I'm gonna just pull the dry shaft and uh, just spin the ring and pinion by hand with no axles in it and make sure that it doesn't have any tight or lumpy spots in there. So with the two in there, it does feel just a little pinch on the tight side. So I'm gonna just take one out and go back to that and see how it feels again. Now you don't want to have not enough or too much, right? It's it goes both ways with this. So we'll set that in there and look at that. You see, it doesn't you don't hear that that rank 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 sound. It's just nice and smooth and buttery. So. 0.2 of a millimeter is enough on this differential. There's no play, there's just a tiny bit of play. Now that little bit of play is good for when everything's spinning and riding. It's okay to have a little bit, but not too much, right? So um, that's butter right there. Um, yeah, so one for the front on this rig. Your rig could be different. It's all molded parts and such like that. Now we're gonna throw the cover on and make sure it doesn't develop a tight sound once that's kind of pushing on the bearing caps a bit more right everything's seated so that feels good everything's fantastic so we're going to uh put this guy back together and then we're going to rinse and repeat on the rear axle that's pretty much how you guys do that in a nutshell just put it back together the same way we took it apart uh do pull your dry shaft off very important and just feel out your uh your input you should be able to give a little flick and it should roll just like ours is doing i don't know if you can see that probably not but yeah, so just give it a couple little, just make sure she's happy in there, right? And then, yeah, you guys can put it all back together and get the trail rolling. Hey guys, Keith Jesse hanging out in the studio tonight with our first actual uh, subscriber giveaway truck. This truck we actually bought to give away to you guys. So all you have to do is like and subscribe. Uh, once we hit the 15,000 subscriber mark, we are going to do a live draw, and this truck's going to go out to one lucky winner. Stay tuned.